Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna talk nude lips. Um, that's pretty much all that I really like to wear. I have nudes on my lips today. So if you wanna see my favorite nude liquid lips, lipsticks, lip glosses, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's just dive on in. I suppose I shall start with... Um, Let's start with my favorite lip glosses. So one of my favorite lip glosses is definitely um, from Kylie Cosmetics. I think she has some of the best glosses that I've actually ever tried in my life. I love the consistency. I love the texture. I love the formula. I love the longevity. I just, I love everything about it. All right, so my first favorite lip gloss, this is in the shade Literally, and this is from Kylie Cosmetics. It is really nice true nude shade it comes with an applicator like this it's a small brush i didn't order any of them when she was having the issues with the brushes so thank goodness i have all good ones so i will do a live swatch for you here so that is literally literally gloss it's a really nice pretty um brown nude shade so this is so cute it's a little bit lighter i believe literally is the darkest i think it goes like literally so cute or I don't know, maybe I'm getting that wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But this is so cute and this is literally. So you can see the difference. This one is obviously a little bit lighter but they're both in the same family. So I'm gonna do a quick swatch for So Cute. Same type of brush. Really, really, really pretty, pretty flesh tone nude. So that is So Cute and that is literally. Absolutely obsessed with this formula. I think you should definitely get your hands on some of these. I also have um, another favorite gloss, and unfortunately, it is in my bag right now. But that is the ColourPop, um, the ColourPop gloss in the shade Fairy Floss. It is the most beautiful, like opaque, pinkish, sparkly nude gloss. I just wear that on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it absolutely is just, it's it's stunning. Another gloss that I'm absolutely obsessed with is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is in the shade Undress, and it looks like this. And I think they also have one of the best um, lip gloss consistencies. So this is Undress. It's very, very, very similar actually to So Cute. Actually just has a little bit more of a peachy undertone than this one. So beautiful over the top of any type of nude lipstick. Absolutely love that one. I also love this Morphe Lip Cream Polish, which is what I have on my lips right now over top of... What do I have this over top of? Yes, I have this over the top of uh, Morphe Virgin Liquid Lip, which I will swatch for you in a minute. But let me just give you a swatch of the Morphe Lip Polish in the shade Faithful by itself. Wow, these three are actually surprisingly so close. I had no idea. This one has more of an orangey undertone, but it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. The formula is a little bit thick, so you want to use this with a very light hand because otherwise it could just too get too goopy and just too messy really, really quick. Okay, so let's get started with my favorite matte liquid lips. I'm going to start with some more of the drugstore brand. So the first one is by NYX. It's their NYX lingerie, and this is in the shade... Blah, blah, blah. The shade Push Up. It is a really nice, pretty nude. I mean, these are all nudes, so what else is new? It has this kind of applicator. It's more of like a flat doe foot. It's very similar to the Anastasia lip, uh, lip gloss, actually, but I'm not really a fan of the applicator as much as I am of the product. So this is Push Up right there. Absolutely beautiful. It has a nice, classic nude brown undertone. Okay, next I'm going to swatch for you that Morphe liquid lip that I'm wearing so you can see it without the gloss. And this is in the shade Virgin. So this is Virgin. It's very similar as always. These are all going to be pretty similar, but this is a little bit more on the pinkier side. This is Virgin from Morphe. Morphe has some of the best liquid lips, I swear. Like, if you haven't been able to get your hands on these yet, you probably should because for $12.99... They're absolutely, they're absolutely beautiful, and I, I have nothing bad to say about those. Next liquid lip is by BH Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Sandy, and I did wear this in a video previously, but this is Sandy. Sandy has more of a brown undertone, and this is Sandy right there. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful shade. 
Moving on to a couple of my ColourPop liquid lips. This one is in the shade Beeper, which was one of my first liquid lips that I ever purchased, and I think it's absolutely so beautiful. And I will swatch that for you here. This is a lot darker than most of the shades that I'm going to be showing you, but still so, so beautiful on the skin. With a natural look, with a heavy look, with any type of, of eye makeup look, this is an absolute beautiful lip. Magic Wand is an ultra satin lip, so it doesn't have a matte finish, but it is so beautiful. Sometimes you don't need that matte finish. So this is Magic Wand. Magic Wand is so, so pretty. Look at that, beautiful. So the next shade that I'm gonna show you is from Bare Minerals, and I just picked this up in a haul video. So I've already swatched it there, but I'll swatch it again for you. And this is in the shade Hemp. It is actually the second lightest of the two shades. The shade Extra is a little bit lighter than this one. Let me do this sideways here. I actually really like the Bare Minerals Gen, Gen Nude Matte Lip Colors. So this is hemp right here. Hemp is actually really, really similar to, it's like that's the Morphe liquid lip. Yeah, that's really, really nice. They are very, very similar. So if you don't wanna spend a lot of money, then you can go for the cheaper version. The next liquid lip is from Dose of Colors, and this is my first Dose of Colors lipstick, and this is in the shade Cork. This is a very true brown color, um, but it's very warm. As you can see, it has this really nice angled doe foot applicator, which makes it so easy to apply liquid lips. So let's swatch cork. So this is cork right here. As I said, it's a very, very different type of nude. Some people not, might not even call this a nude, but I do because it's in that family. And this is cork and it's a really nice brown shade. So I have picked out my favorite Kylie Cosmetic liquid lips, and the first one we are going to start with is my favorite, and this is Dolce K. Dolce K is a really nice, pretty, true brown nude. It looks just like that. Do a nice swatch for you. So this is Dolce K. It's absolutely beautiful, especially when you pair it with um, the Literally Gloss right over the top. Absolute perfection. The next liquid lip is in the shade, this is from the Coco Collection, and that's in the shade Clo Money. Comes in this nice pretty gold packaging, which is really, really nice. And I will do a swatch for you. So this is Clo Money. It's got a really nice terracotta undertone to it. It's so beautiful. The next three shades are more in the rosy family. These are my rosy nudes that I go to on when I want a little bit more of a pink undertone. So the first one is in the shade Charm, and this is a velvet lip. So this does not dry matte. This is from her new collection, and it does not have a matte finish, but it is super long wearing. So this is Charm right here, as you can see, is a really nice, true pink. The next shade is going to be Coco K, which I think is probably my favorite out of all of her pinks. And Coco K looks like this. Do a nice swatch right next to Charm so you can see the difference because they are extremely similar, except for the drying capabilities. So this is... Coco K and this is Charm. So as you can see, really, really similar. This one is a little bit uh, like a hair darker and this one dries completely matte. This one does not, it has a nice satin finish to it or velvet finish as she calls it, as she calls it. And last but not least is in the shade Candy K and this is such a beautiful pink shade. Absolutely love. That is Candy K right there. Candy K is a little bit darker. For this shade, I need to wear um, concealer under my lips or foundation or something to mute out the pink because otherwise it is super intense. But that is Candy K right there and that is absolutely beautiful. So these are my favorite top five Kylie Cosmetics colors. I'm so excited because I know she's coming out with a new Kim Kardashian West collab she did. So I'm super excited to Here's some reviews, here's some things about them, and see if I want to get my hands on them.
Okay, so that completes this video on my favorite matte liquid lips, lip glosses, all that jazz, my favorite nudes. Please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.